takes an hour, and then they have like a four way tiebreaker. They may only have eight hours. Yeah. <laughs> oh, please. No, not yet. The, the second set of tiebreaker games in that qualifier were just miserable for the players, too. No one slept well, no one played well. It, it was bad. Wow, you don't see that very often. Damn, that was close. Closest one yet. Okay, here we go. Port's coming out. Middle lane, both sides. Dazzle places this ward, AA. Definitely getting some information right there. Keeping his distance, though, can eventually place his own ward, but we'll see if that comes into play as far as the counter. So, a lot less kill pressure for a little while here, at least. Afu coming back in. Fissure connects on some ale. Gotta put the Searing Chains out, put the Spirit Siphons up. There's a Crypt Swarm, not enough damage though. Just, just far enough. And with Zai being here as well, that kind of scares him off. Now Zai doesn't have mana for a Burl Strike, so... I wonder if they picked up on that, if they would have really... Too much yeah, this puts him in handle. weird timing with the lane too. If he was out just a couple seconds earlier, he gets to double Ion Shell the Creeps, and that's why he's surging up to the Creep Wave trying to get there. If you can get that double Ion Shell set up as the Night Stalker, the one that has to be careful. The Fissure's on the wrong side, and he pretty much puts Night Stalker into his own mini arena right here. He's gonna try to fly over the ledge, but it can't get it off in time. Or if it, it goes down before he can get over the ledge, and he will end up falling. And now Earthshaker. Definitely gonna make it over the cliff. He's probably still dead to the next Dazzle Auto, but. Looking to set up here on Zai. Zai's gonna Pearl Strike away, though. Weird Siphon's out. They're diving pretty deep. Exorcism comes out, but now AA. He's gonna get countered on. Chaos Knight. Not enough mana for his cast ball. There we go. Now he has enough. Puts it out on a Death Prophet. He keeps on running that exorcism. And you gotta be careful going in onto the Death Prophet. But when you pull him into the tower, that can work. Although Chaos Knight goes down. And that's the danger of trying to kill a Death Prophet with that exorcism up and teammates nearby. Keeping that harassment up. This Death Prophet, 42 and 17 against a 29 and 4 Ember Spirit. The extra pressure from his teammates has just been so crucial. Well, Ember Spirit's going in. He is out of mana currently. He does have a Mango, I guess, but with teammates nearby, they're diving the tower again on this Death Prophet. Now, no exorcism this time. He pops the Magic Wand. He's going to barely go down here, but at what cost for some mail? He gets blocked somewhat. Oh, he uses the Fire Remnants, goes every which way, and he will survive Universe. Just enough mana for that surge as well. He's trying, though. Good effort. Oh, there's that Yo Bomb with a Phantasm as we touched it with the draft, and this Fissure will at least stop Chaos Knight. But now RTC, can he run on out of here? Afu oh, trying to run it. it down. He turns it actually on to her shake, and he goes back for the tower kill to finish it off. He's gonna get that. The illusion's still chasing after Night Stalker. I guess it worked out just fine for EG again. I Middle? think it was Sumail that canceled that TP coming in. And that was the the entire reason they were able to turn that into something beautiful. And accelerate Starks here up so much. Every one of those steals is just massive in just slowing the Sven's pace down a little bit. Chaos yeah, Knight, Arteezy going more of a traditional build this time with that armlet follow-up to the power treads, and they're gonna find an AA, but there's that just going to the line of sight right there, so talk about that with the reality rift, but he's like, alright, I'm just gonna stun you then, damn it. And he pulls him on in. Cold feet. Not gonna save him there. He may actually get stunned. Oh, what barely went off. Beyond. It was attempted. And as you see, a ward is actually gonna be counter-warded in the process. But Samael, they're, they're looking to make a play. If anything, block this. Yeah, they want to just fight when he goes for the stack. Oh, they're going to go in and root on a couple of heroes. AA, cold feet thrown out. There's that pearl strike, though. And down goes the AA. Night Stalker also going to fall. Double kill for Samael. And they're like, hey, Ancients, thanks for the stack, bros. Oh, man. Going for this is, is good, but it's going to hurt a lot. That Shadow Wave from Crit, though, does so much yeah, damage to them. With all the heroes nearby. Yeah, they just Oh, man. Them. Yeah, that, that stack's just gone. And there goes Sven's path to his next item. They can do the math right there. They are going to be scanned out, actually, as EG. So this is numbers advantage for LFY, although Afu's already at half-life himself. Spirit Seven, there's the Exorcism Pop, Chaos Knight, the Surge Away. Trying to keep him running. A's ulti will barely miss right there in RTZ. And look at Universe goes back in with that Vacuum All combo. In comes a Pearl Strike as well. AA's getting low. He Reality Rift pulling on a Death Prophet. The Exorcism is still up, though. The Weave put up, though, from Crit. Keeping Chaos out alive, barely, but not enough in the end. He does go down. Double kill, actually, for Night Stalker here. Iron Shell's up on a Dark Seer, running down Afu on the Dirt Shaker. Gets killed on him in the back line, though. So Monet is doing work on Sven with that God Strength. Is it enough damage? He's dropping himself. The Flame Guard ticks him down. And so now picks up a double kill. Ultimately, a big favor for EG. Three. Gun is huge. 
Arteezy is going to be scouted out there by AA. That Ice Vortex good for that purpose. And Chaos Knight's actually blocked in. This vision's pretty damn good. Do they have a four staff or anything? It doesn't seem like it. And the Cold Feet eventually send him out. But out comes the epicenter. In comes the Fire Remnants from Sunail. And Sven is going to end up dropping as well as a Death Prophet. Echo Slam from Afu. Is it enough, though? He takes out the Sand King. But Sunail still plenty of life. The Flame Guard eventually wears off right there. Shallow Grave on Crit himself. Trying to survive against this Night Sucker. Not going to be long enough. He does go down. But Night Sucker is returned. With the death right there. So a three for three, but with who died soon. And makes sense too. I mean, yes, there's of course plenty of physical damage, especially from the Chaos Knight, but between Ember, Darkseer even, and of course Sand King. Yeah. So I was saying, if she goes hood in the Ghost Scepter, it's the closest thing that she can get just to pure tanky right now. Suppose the Fissure hits, Monet jumps in, but Stormhammer connects as well, but he keeps on getting away. Nice four staff initially, the AALT is going to miss as well. Exorcism is used, but this is a little bit scattered now. The wall goes down. Arteezy, reality rift right there. Not exactly sure this is even on, but Echo Slam goes off from off food. That's going to do some work. Shallow Grave saves Sanky for the time being, but it cannot save the Ember Spirit. Chaos Knight comes back up with the Aegis, but this looks pretty good for LFY so far. EG playing the retreat game right now. They have to run through the wall, but they want this Arteezy dead, and they're going to get the Arteezy dead, damn it. That's a double kill for Super. They also catch Dazzle, who's trying to TP out. He'll fall here. First really big fight for LFY now that goes in their favor. A couple of different heroes on the side having the hood. They're really threatened by this magic presence. Super's running at Samael with that Spirit Siphon. The Yule Scepter throws up in the air, the Fire Remnant out. But he's going to be chased down by the Death Prophet Mew on the back lines. The wall combo goes off with the vacuum, but they still run down Samael and they get the kill nonetheless. So, Universe not enough to stop them actually. He went armlet, so if AA Blast hits him, he can't toggle it. It really screws with his survivability with that armlet. Night Stalker, but you gotta be careful here for EG. There's support coming in, including Afu. Echo Slam's ready once again. The Enchant on the Epicenter goes off. But you see in flame there on the Night Stalker now running down Crit. Meanwhile, Zai is able to pick off the Earthshaker, the Shallow Grave. Crit trying to live. Earthshaker, excuse me, Zai comes in with a Burl Strike, and Crit does pour it out. They do get a double kill out of this on his Zai. Death Prophet force pop the exorcism, but with the mail coming back in, that's going to be the death of him. And Zai picks up the triple kill in the fight, and it could be even a quad kill if DDC's caught here. Yeah, they're definitely going to catch him. They do catch him. Who's going to get the last hit credit? It will be Samael. Strike, 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 strike. Man, universe is. It but they can't really commit to it at this point. They know EG's nearby. Being safe about it, middle lane. Samel, he finds Death Prophet. Puts the roots out, the pull in with the reality rift, doing the damage. Echo Slam goes off in the back lines, by the way, to catch Sand King, who tried to jump in, but there's the Universe Vacuum and the wall. In comes the AO to the top of everyone else. Fen, he's got some good cleave damage right here, but Arteezy tanking him with that blade mail. So far, it's two for one in favor of EG. Monet's on the run, Fissure comes out once again, double kill in the back lines, for Samel, but Urshaker takes out Crit right there, and now Chaos Knight by himself, but no, Samel's gonna help one out. Sven gets picked off, and all of a sudden, it's just Afu. Triple kill for Samel. And Afu can't really get out of this one. No blink in time. Another enchant totem. Fissure. Maybe take out Chaos Knight with him. No, it's not going to happen. Ultra kill indeed. Force of Mail is yeah. complete. That was close I mean, to either way. You'd have to silence him from DP. Night Stalker. Oh, there we go. go. Arteezy pops a BKP. The walls put down at a very good angle as well. They have to run through it if they want to really fight this. You'll step in the air for Super. The Exorcism up. Flying around. Doing some damage. He just has the Spirit Siphon up as well, but RTZ gonna put in those auto attacks. Death Prophet healing up, man. He's barely staying alive for the time being, but just not enough to heal in the end. Although ALT right on top. Nice save from Crit on a Darks here. And RTZ is gonna get exploded on, though, and Universe will fall when it's all said and done. So the initial save was nice, but doesn't save him in the long run. Well, Urshaker does just cost a lot of mana. Silence, the storm hammer. Now he got the four staff off initially, but again, another big ice blast that forces him to spread out, if anything. Sand King goes down. And that BKB, God strength, Monet, you want to run from that. BKB forced out of Arteezy. They're looking to turn back now. They pull in with a vacuum. They catch Night Stalker. But they don't want to commit for that. They want it, Sven. They don't get him, though. And Night Stalker will run away. Again, they don't want to overstep their boundaries right here. They're being very careful with this. <laughs> Some hell. Living life on the edge. Echo Slam is not ready. 35 more seconds on the cooldown. Clever Cape to tell safe. Nice Stalker will beat up in the end. No, it will not. I'm guessing. Oh my god, it maybe is. No, it's not. Okay. Finally dead. And now Roshan. I mean, we've mentioned this like 20 times, it feels like. <laughs> yeah, this is the dance, though. I mean, it's just both teams fighting in skirmishes over it. 
but really not wanting to die. They'd rather just back all the way up and reset. Getting that pick on Night Stalker makes EG have enough confidence to dive right into the Roche Pit. This blast is going to be coming, though, you feel like. And they yeah. are not going to get this for free. There's that it's Ice Blast. Crucial here. In the background, oh. off with the Echo Slam. Ember Spirit's down with no buyback. Chaos Knight's down with no buyback. And LFY's going to steal the Roshan as well. Oh my god, that was worst case disaster for Evil Geniuses right there. Crit being run down on top of it. Afu looking to pick him off. Aegis is picked up by Monet in the meantime. Up their top secondary, top tier three, and their melee and range drags. That and might be one of the fastest drops I've seen from a 12,000 gold lead. Yeah, I was just... I almost got jumped there, but of course, Staff Sandstorm, he's good. Or is he? I mean, we're not hunting. done just yet. That sucker's going, he's going to find uh, Chaos Knight, but the Aegis has got reclaimed, by the way. That could be crucial right here, if they really pick a fight. BKB going off RTZ. He's going to be wearing off pretty quickly, puts a stun out, Phantasm. The Illusion Army is up, Exorcism already off, though. In the back lines, the Epicenter going off from Sand King. The AA ulti looks like it only connects on a Dark Shear. He is silenced up currently, and the Colt figure to send him as the Echo Slam finally comes out. The Blade Mill is activated on Chaos Knight. Spend, he's finding a target to attack. He just can't find anyone, though. He finally is uh, looking to do some damage to Chaos Knight, but no, he's just going to keep on running with the Warcry. The Spirit's up and draining the life of Arteez, and eventually they get him killed. Finally, all they lost was AA in the process there. One of the more sloppier fights there. EG's got to make a move, and, and they're smoking up his five already here. They need to catch somebody first. If they get Afu, that would be like dream scenario. Mm -hmm. Look at the buyback status right here. So that one's pretty good too, though. Death Prophet would be going. She would have a buyback, but as we said, she's tough to kill. They're going to commit for it. Fantastic pop, four staffs away. Death Prophet's still alive. And comes the Echo Slam once again. And, and Ember Spirit actually gets blown up. And now Chaos Knight has to run away. Ember Spirit got blown up in the midst of that. I thought it was Chaos Knight that went down first. He goes back in for the reality rift. But you look at Death Prophet. She's basically full life. Arteezy with that shallow grave. It's not going to last long enough, though. He eventually is going to be taken out. They take out Dazzle. Ember Spirit does buy back. But he does it pretty damn late. Once again, AA is the only one to fall. Death Prophet is the tough target to take down. Yeah, this is this is really coordinated out of LFY. I, I'm just loving seeing this out of them. A bit of a slow start in the tournament, and they're starting to look like a solid unit here. And DP is actually just doing work in this game. I, I don't really like the hero much, or didn't before this. I felt like it's a little too cooldown reliant. But they're just making it be such a thorn in EG's side. Yeah. And they force buybacks on both the, the heavy cores here. Ember Spirit and Chaos Knight. Now's a chance. Sven, a little bit of lockdown, but they want this tier 3 at least. Possibly more out of it. And they aren't going to be satisfied with that as the supports are now coming up. And, no. Saw what happened last time. You're kind of desperate at this point. Rune of double damage. I mean, Echo Slam is actually back up. Vacuum, it only catches one though, really. BKB, the Stormhammer return. Hit a couple himself. Fissure blocks off Darkseer right here. Ember Spirit is over the edge. Going for Super, but again, the Spirit Siphon comes out. The Silence on top of the Darkseer. He can't get his damn wall off, but Sven's being beaten down by the Phantasm Arm. Four Staff Away will not save him. Him and AA, the ones that are dead. So now chasing down the Night Stalker. I'm going to take him. I'm going to go back over here. The Death Prophet, it seems like he finally will fall now as the Chaos that is going to stay alive throughout. Guess what? The key, no Echo Slam from Afu. Couldn't find the No Echo Slam and the DD allowing Sumail to kill AA before the ult came out. Both very, very important things in that. The AA for EG up there. See them up there. So they know what's going on. They know the positioning. Nice Sucker flies over the ledge. AA yeah. ult's going to come flying in, though. It's spin by back as well. You know that they're trying for this. EG trying to retreat the Fissure. Kind of catches Zai over here. Cold feet as well. And. Spirit Siphon eventually going to be broken pretty quickly, actually. And they're running them out. They're really chasing this, man. Over here, they do pick off Sai, actually, and they get the kill on Amber Spirit. Oh, no. No buyback for 115. What a great for fly, and this is potentially game. You don't have Sumail for 70 seconds. You don't have a great way to hold this. Chaos Knight wants to try to do something. Oh, BKB Phantasm Army is up. The wall put down as well from Dark in a pretty good position. But again, you see Death Prophet cutting away. The, the army of the Phantasm goes over to the Death Prophet with the Eagle Scepter. Throws into the air to survive for now. Arteezy trying to get back to the Fountain of TLF. He dies, but he's staying dead, and that he is for 90 seconds. 
and this could be the end in favor of LFY. No buybacks in either Ember Spirit or Chaos Knight. They're gonna at least get the melee racks in middle lane. Possibly get Mega Creeps here. EG had tempo the entire early game. They they were just running train on this game, dictating where LFI went. And all it took were the Earthshaker blink and the first A ult to hit two or three people. I'm gonna go for the epicenter right here. I mean, they call GG, so <laughs> it is over, but it's a little bit of a fun combo at the end. But yeah, LFY, victorious. I'm totally with you, though, in the sense that, what was it, EG was...